which way the wind blows when this day is done. Set your intentions, dream with care Tomorrow's a new day for everyone A brand new moon, a brand new sun Hello everyone and welcome to another Healing Hikes adventure this week Today we're doing the Bicentennial National Trail all the way up to Mount St. Leonard. So we're doing about a 25 kilometre walk. Now the Bicentennial National Trail actually is the world's longest recognised hiking trail. It's 5,330 kilometres long and goes all the way from Victoria, Hillsville, where we are right now, Donnelly's Weir, all the way up to Cooktown, Queensland. So there's no motorised vehicles allowed on the trail at all. But um, yeah, it's one of the biggest trails in the world over the, along with like the Alapation, Pacific Crest, Colorado, Camino, Camino Trail in Europe. So enjoy this hike today. As I said, we're going to go up to the top of Mount St. Leonard and we're going to go to the viewing platform where you have views of the Arrow Valley, um, Melbourne CBD, Mount Dandenong, and um, you've got the Yarra Ranges on the right like Sugarloaf. And yeah, enjoy this video. Happy hiking. You know when you're hiking and you can just sense that there's a snake? Well, there's a tiger snake just sleeping right there, literally. One meter in front of me. I'll show you it up nice and close. All right, so some of the cool features on this hike. We're doing Mount St. Leonard, as I mentioned, and we started at Donnelly's Weir down the bottom. We're doing a mixed eucalypt forest hike, and it is constant grade five hike all the way up. Now it's only given that rating, not because of the type of trail, as you can see, it's quite well formed. It's because of the incline that just goes on for a constant eight kilometers. Now, Mount St. Leonard itself, as I mentioned, is going to have views of the Arrow Valley, Melbourne CBD, even Mount Macedon over in the northwest. The reason for such beautiful, huge, expansive views is it's 1,010 metres above sea level. Now, in comparison, Mount Dandenong's is only 633 metres. So this has another 400 metres on top of that. I'll give you a look of the, the hill climb we're about to do. See, so that. Video probably doesn't give it justice, but um, oh, getting your fitness base up, that's for sure. All right, let's go tackle this one.
made it. Our first little hill climb. Had to take the flanny off. It was getting a bit too hot. good iconic Australian hike if you're into long distance hiking would be a 650 kilometer one now that goes through the Australian Alpine region so it starts in Valhalla and we've actually done a video of Valhalla so if you want to go back through my video history that was a beautiful iconic historic gold mining town from 1870s and it goes all the way through the Alps Mount Bogong, Mount Ball, Mount Hoth and Falls Creek etc all the way up to Mount Kosciuszko and Jindabyne and stops in Canberra so that one would be beautiful for that subalpine and the alpine regions and obviously don't do it in winter because you'd be snowed out and you'd be in minus temperatures but um it's good to know that here in Australia we have tracks just as big and just as popular or not as popular sorry as the ones in America and the ones in Europe so now it's all in the about finding some time, six months or something to go and do them. different beautiful ways to get to the top of Mount St. Leonard. One beautiful way is you can go through Mount Tanglefoot. Now Mount Tanglefoot is in the Telangi State Forest and it adjoins Wirrawulla Rainforest, huge mountain ash trees. I've done a video there, you can go back through my video history and check that one out. You've also got Mount Monda, Mount Monda, Monda track in that direction. As you know Donnelly's Weary and Hillsville's down that way. Or you can park at the top and just do a 900 meter steep climb to get to the viewing platform. So there are always alternative ways to get to your destination. BNT is a self-reliant hiking, horse riding and mountain bike riding track and it is recognised as the world's longest track, non-motorised vehicles allowed on there at all. And this first section goes all the way from Donnelly's Weir to Narbathong, so the Black Spur Inn. And the first section is 33 kilometres and it is a grade 5 hike. So along this trail, there are a lot of indicators of past settlers here. So from the early 1900s, maybe even earlier. But this one is a lot of electricity. So you can see up here on this tree, a sort of bit of like a plastic cylinder. Now it's on all the trees along here, down here. And I believe that's where electricity would have been connected and fed all the way up from Donnelly's Weir or from Hillsville all the way up to the top of Mount St. Leonard. 
also on this trail you can see where they used to do wood chopping and collect wood so all the tree stumps along up this way a lot of them because they're big mountain ash trees they all have little notches in them for climbing and for standing on so um and they're, and they're everywhere all along here so it's really cool seeing parts of history and the way the people used to survive and live on your trails so we've just been doing this incline the whole way it's really steep and it's about to get even more steeper so i believe we're almost at the top so i'm getting really excited because i want to see this view because every time i see it it just gets better and better last what would you call it 60 70 meter hill climb this one is the steepest by far so you can see it I'm just gonna wind all the way up not looking forward to this one Three hours of hill climbs and we finally made it to the lookout tower let's check out these views it's always a bit of a gamble sometimes it's overcast sometimes you can see Port Phillip Bay and the city really clearly so let's have a check and I'll show you the tower oh got to get your breath Up the top here they've actually created a fire bunker so it's for the person that would be up in the top of this tower monitoring Melbourne and all its little details and specs but here's the fire shelter or bunker so it's probably four by four four by five meters you can see it's got some ventilations and a nice little door in there just in case a fire came through all right let's get to the top of this tower viewing platform and, and have a look over Victoria and all its views. overcast today but you can still make out Melbourne CBD and the Yarra Valley and the Dandenongs anyways next week we're gonna go on a big iconic Australian hike all the same remember there's new hikes weekly and I really appreciate you watching so thank you so much for joining in and I'll see you next week on the trail happy hiking <laughs>